Hey boo, hey, it's your girl Diva. What's up, y'all? I know you guys are excited to see another message from me. I am here to give you what it is that you need to know, okay? Look, I know some of you guys may have been rejected. People ain't want to talk to you. They may have left you out in the cold and not wanted to see you around. But look, understand that the Lord keeps us together as a unity, as a child of God to keep us together. You know, as far as us being a soul family. That's right, a soul tribe. So I thank you guys for staying together with me on this journey. But understand that even when you become rejected, if you get rejected, don't take it personal. Do not take it personal. No, no indeed. Let that be a sign that you weren't supposed to be around that person anyway. You were not supposed to be in their energy because your energy is pure and it needs to be just as the Lord's and that you need to be around those that are going to, you know, they say let iron sharpen, the iron sharpen iron. So you want to be around people who's going to help you in your walk with God and help you in your day-to-day -day life so you won't um, fall back into the trap, you know, that the enemy was trying to put you in, you know, so I'm trying to get you, um, you know, Crap up. <laughs> but let's go ahead and dive deep into this message, y'all. Like, come on, let's see. Um, okay, so where do I want to start? I know um I was reading a minute ago um uh, about okay, so let me grab my Bible girl. I need the Bible. I have my phone, I need my Bible. Okay. So anyway, it says in Matthew 10 and 5, it says Jesus sent out the 12 apostles with these instructions do not i said do not do not do not go to the gentiles or the samaritans but only to the people of israel god's lost sheep god uh it says go and announce to them that the kingdom of heaven is near and also um let me see I'm not going to read all the rest of that, but it just says, it also goes to say, let me see, let me see, let me see. I might have to skip right here, so. Okay, so it says, when you enter the home of someone, give it your blessing. If it turns out to be a worthy home, let your blessings stand. If it is not, take back your blessings. Okay, when you get rejected and people don't want to be around you and don't want to hear what you got to say, whatever you got going on, your business, your your home, whatever you want to do, your business plans, your life, or even whatever it is that you have as a business, if they don't want to hear what, hear what you got to say, when what you selling, if they ain't trying to buy what you selling, baby, God says, take your blessing back. Okay, take it back. You ain't even got to get them your blessing. And these aren't read. These are the words of the, Jesus. Like, he says, take your blessing back. He says, if any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message shake its dust from your feet as you leave i tell you the truth do you hear me i tell you the truth the wicked cities of sodom and gomorrah and you know he he wiped them out baby will be better that 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 time, those cities will be better off than such a town on the judgment day who rejected you. Girl, I'm telling y'all, people don't understand that if they reject you and you connect to the Lord, it's something different. It's a different type of, it's a different type of energy that's given from the Lord. And the Lord is the Lord of hosts. He is the Lord that always, that's all around. He's everywhere. He's all around in the universe. So if he's giving a person that type of energy, cutting them off, you know, they say it ain't nothing to cut that off. Ain't nothing to cut it off. If, it, if they get cut off, baby, by the Lord, they messed up. They don't really mess up, baby. It ain't no turning back. So whatever happens with you and someone that's trying to um, uh, reject you and don't want to hear what you got to say, don't want to see you around, oftentimes it's jealousy and it's, it's or something that um, they feel that the energy of the God, the Lord, the God that's within you is too strong and powerful for them because you shine like a star. When you're connected to God and you're the chosen, when you shine like stars, you know, and it's like that shine that sometimes that light can be a little bit too bright for them and they can't stand to have you around. Or even have you ever been around somebody and when you come around, everybody's coming to you. They're coming to you. They look, hey, oh my God. 
But see, when they was around, it wasn't nobody to come to them. Ain't nobody. It's all about you. The spotlight is on you. And see, some people can't handle handle that energy when you're around. So they, they prefer to reject you so that they won't feel rejected themselves when people come around them. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you hear me? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that rejection is real. And when they, that's why they're rejecting you so you can feel the same way that they feel. Okay? It's funny because even in the word, what I was just reading, it says, don't go to the Gentiles or the Samaritans. The reason why God did not want them to go to the Gentiles or the Samaritans, because those people will reject exactly what God was trying to do through the apostles. And remember, the apostles was trying to get the word of God out and trying to help people healing and making them feel good and see what the Samaritans and the Gentiles would have done was mock them or either called out their um, idols. Because during that time, they had idols. They had, you know, they was into the witchcraft and all of that stuff. Like they were into worshiping and other idols and other gods and doing other things that other people were you know that our people the jews um and the, the jews in the israel the israelites were not doing they were doing other things they were bringing in all kinds of stuff girl trying to woo people you know and trying to get people to love on them through their idols because remember i said you know it's just like when you with your friend and when you come in everybody comes to you that friend decides to hey let me go and try to get some potion or some type of spell to make me look good, to make people love on me. And you know, that's what that person, that's what those Gentiles and those Samaritans were into. And so I feel like God did not want the apostles to go over there because they could have provoked them to uh, being bewitched or they could have tried to bring them into with the idols. And those idols are unclean. And God says, do not mix the clean with the unclean. You cannot bring those two together because they may defile you so this is why it's important for us even now to not um mix ourselves with the unclean things okay so oh yes indeed let me see girl and I, i've been screenshotting some stuff on uh on the internet too to see why because i was like lord why would they not want them to go because you know later on actually paul had went to preach to the gentiles in the uh he went to preach to them okay but at first, it was just something different about Jesus. It says Jesus could have not wanted them to go. Um, he could have, he could have be um, reminding the, he could be reminding the apostles to walk as he walked, um, going the way um, and following him, um, following God. It says Jesus could have also been telling the apostles not to walk in some of the pla of their places because those places could have been. Um, considered unclean due to idolatry or um, per, uh, perhaps burying their dead in their homes. I was like, girl, they burying dead people in their homes. Seriously, that's nice. Like, that's nasty. But I know they used um, frankincense and myrrh to, um, to, to, you know, to cleanse off their, the, uh, the bodies. But still, that's just still, that's unclean. That's disgusting. And it also says, however, um, we later see that Apostle Paul did go um, to some of the places to preach. But the main thing was they had idols. They had altars of, you know, de erected uh, altars. Um, also, they had altars for other gods that they were worshiping, conjuring up spirits and energies that were not supposed to be around. And God did not want them around that type of energy. God did not want them around any type of, um, you know, because they're conjuring spirits, doing witchcraft work, the works of darkness, doing things that they were not supposed to be doing. And so God did not want to, uh, to include or um, add them into that unclean thing because they could have easily been uh tempted in such a way so god is like what girl mm -mm. you better not go over there i tell you if you go over there you might something might happen dust your feet and keep going don't even matter of fact don't even step into their home don't even go there keep yourself out of those keep yourself out of those uh places okay so that's why um spirit told them not to because of course like i said they would have rejected you. They would have rejected the apostles, okay? They would have felt all kinds of rejection. And sometimes, you know, the apostles weren't as strong as Jesus, but they did some things that he did. You know, they were able to clean, you know, to cast out demons. They were able to purify people, to help them and pray for them and see them become healed. They were able to do all of that, they, but they were not as strong 
as Jesus, the way that Jesus was able to not follow the temptation of the enemy when the enemy tries to tempt Jesus. Um, but so that's exactly why, that's exactly why he did not want them to go over there. So understand that not everything you mix yourself with, that's why it's not good for you to mix yourself with different people that are not of your connection or your soul family, your soul tribe, our soul tribe, you know what I'm saying? It's not good because you may get tempted to go the other way. You may get tempted to do the things that they're doing, the wrong things. And of course, sometimes, you know, you see things that they do and it, and it might take heat. It might help you. It might do some things to help you, but it's luring you in. That's just to lure you in. Kind of like, you know, the Egyptians. They used to wear their little fine uh, necklaces and their braids and their, you know, all their tapestries and stuff. They used to do all kinds of stuff to lure people in, trying to bring them into loving on them and wanting them and see that's the thing that spirit did not want for you to be the for us to be tempted like that and sometimes that's bringing bringing this let me reel it back in so why you were rejected because you were not supposed to mix in with those type of individuals they're not on your level they are not connected to god the way that you are they are not just like you their personality is a whole lot different and they may cause you to fall or may cause you to lose everything that you have if you connect yourself with those people because they are not of your kind the jealousy is real anytime somebody brings jealousy to your life that evil eye can try they can try their best to try to stop what you're doing but guess what remember they that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty okay so that means you will be protected as long as you are protecting yourself and keeping yourself sanctified in the Lord, reading his word, going into prayer, keeping yourself, plead the blood of Jesus over your life and over your family, honey. I'm telling you, anoint yourself each day so that you can continue to be protected so that you, even though being rejected sometimes, may feel it might not feel good. It might feel hurtful. It, you might feel shamed at some time, but understand it's for your good because I, God causes all things to work together for the good of them that love God and who are called according to his purpose and plan. That's right, girl. Yes, all things, all things, even that breakup that you had, even that, that person that did not want to have you as a friend, even those people at church that rejected you, you might have had church hurt, honey. I don't know what it was. Your neighbor might not like you. The people around you at your school might not like you. Your children, some people at your children's school might not like them, but hey, nobody is going to be worth, it's not even worth your time. It's not even worth your energy. It's going to work out for your good and God is going to cause things to be blessed in every way for your life. So remember that <sighs> Who the sun sets free is truly free indeed. So a lot of times when we're being set free, that means we're being pulled away sometimes from people that we shouldn't be around. So don't be upset when you get rejected by your family. If your family don't want you around or if your friends don't want you around, so, you know, sometimes they don't call you or they don't want to see you come to, come to the gathering. Whatever it might be, they might not call you on three-way. That's what, I, that's what I said. I said three-way. They might not call you on three-way when it's time. Okay, when people, when everybody on there, or they might not put you on the FaceTime call, all everybody on FaceTime, and then you found out they all together coming up with something to do, and you ain't heard nothing about it. Don't be upset, because God is trying to protect you. He's protecting your energy, honey. Protect your energy and be happy. Be, count it all joy when you go through things like this, because God is trying to keep you away from the darkness. Okay, do you hear me? count it all joy be happy be free because you're being free because like i said who the sun sets free is truly free indeed so that sometimes mean you got to be pulled away from the people that you know that you really want to be around sometimes he's just protecting you that's it the rejection is god's protection type that in the comments rejection is sometimes god's rejection protection. Remember that you're being protected in every way. I know you feel like, yes, you, you should be doing some things like your friends, or you should be doing things, you should have more by now, or you should be have you should have more wealth by now. Maybe you're supposed to be in a home. Maybe you should have, be a homeowner by now. And maybe they rejected your, your um, application, or they rejected you to not give you the, the loan that you need to get that home, or that car, or that truck, or that land, baby. I don't know what they did. Whatever they rejected you, however they rejected you, God is not going to allowed to continue um, because he's going to send someone better. God is giving you better. Type in the comments, God is giving me better. He's 
giving me better. God is giving me better. That means he's giving you, getting you prepared. Sometimes you got to be rejected in order for you to gain strength for your for the power that is within you to be stronger than what it was before. He's strengthening you. He's giving you courage and he's giving you confidence in him. And he wants you to see that that part wasn't for you. It wasn't from him. You know, those people are not a part of him. It's not a part of him. He's, he was not supposed to be. Those people were not supposed to be around you because God does not want those unclean things around you, okay? Even that home you were trying to buy and you got rejected, it does not matter. That home could have been filled with idols. People may have been utilizing idols or doing things that they were not supposed to do in that house. Somebody could have died in that house. Something could have happened there and you were not supposed to be there. God don't want you there. He's trying to give you something better. That relationship that broke up, that person that left you or ghosted you, honey, baby, God wanted better. Or maybe you ghosted them, baby, but God I want you to have better, okay? Better than what you had before. Don't be afraid to, to praise the Lord when things like this happen. Because when you praise him, that makes the things come in faster, even faster than praying. We know faster than praying and praying make things happen real fast. It makes it happen real quick. But when you praise God in the midst of your troubles, it brings his, it ushers in his spirit. And he comes to see about you even quicker, baby. I'm telling you, open up your hearts and minds to the Lord and know that he is working things out. Because all things work together for the good of them that love God and who are called according to his purpose and his plan. So I want you guys to remember that verse, okay? Type that in the comments anyway, that, you know, it's working for my good. It's working for my good. That's right. That rejection is working for your good, honey. He is making a way for you out of no way. I don't care what happens. He's making a way out of no way. Where there was no path, God made a path for you, baby. He's opening doors where there was no door. He made the door, baby. He's opening it for you and giving you the key that nobody else can have. And only you can have that. So you better come on in and help um, remember that you are not being rejected for no reason. You're being protected. That's right. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me show you guys my books because I want you guys to go over and get them. I do have a book. I have two books, actually, and I want you guys to get those books. Not only check them out, but look in the, look in the description bar below. You'll see how to get my book. My book link is there, baby. It's amazing, too. And I don't mean to boast, but my book is great because I allow God to utilize me to help me to share my story. All right, this one here is, these are my prophetic journals. This is Wait, Pray, and Slay, baby, because you know that's all we do all day, Wait, Pray, and Slay. So as you read this book, you'll see how God carried me through. Each day I wrote in my journal, he was showing me all of these miracle signs and wonders he was doing, dreams that he would give me, they would come to fruition. He was helping me. And I want you guys to read this book too. Y'all look at me right here. <laughs> that's when I was rocking my shortcut, baby. Yes, make sure y'all check get that book um it's in the description bar below and um what else girl what else what else housekeeping honey we got to do some housekeeping what else do i have to tell you guys oh if you would like to have prayer you want me to pray for you email me my email is in the description bar right there below as well everything you need to know is there and your girl guess what i got a patreon <laughs> can you believe it so if you're looking for face-to-face conversations with me so we can come together and talk about the Lord and talk about your problems talk to, to help you and you help me. We all can come together as a soul family. I'm telling you, hit me up on Patreon. You pay for that. You can get those one-on-ones with me and it will be free all throughout the months. You know what I'm saying? Check that out for real. And if you would like to give a donation to the channel, any size amount, does not matter. It's dollar sign Diva TV. And of course, my PayPal is in the description bar as well. I love y'all so much. Your girl just got tongue tied like it wasn't none, but it's all good. We're going to get this message out here. The Lord is good and his mercy endures with us forever, baby. He has caused his face to shine upon us because we the stars, baby. The Lord has blessed us. Peace, love, and light. The love of God be with you.